guys, it's um, Gunner, and we and I'm here to show you my first origami video, and I'm going to show you how to make a clone. Now, as you can see, this isn't just your regular um, clone. I figured out to convert a body for the clone um, the, uh, for Tom Angleberger's clone head. Now, if in this video, I'll be showing you how to make rifles the body, and my custom head. So, let's get started. Alright, number one, for the body, you're going to need one-fourth slate of paper. Well, you're going to need two one-fourths, um, and then cut one-fourth in half. So, and you have to make it go like this. See? Alright. So, First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it like this to give it just a little bit of space, and then you're gonna fold the head. It's gonna go like this. Now, if it doesn't work on the first time, try it again, and you should be able to it. And you should do it like this. All right. If you get a little bit over, if you cut it wrong, you get a little over. You can snip that off if you want. But it's okay. It's, don't worry. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it on the back, and you're, and you're gonna go and do this with it. And so now, if you're gonna tuck it, I recommend you doing the bottom first because the bottom is more difficult than tucking the big one. So now that you've tucked it you have your body. You can decorate it. Alright, so the next part we want to do is going to be the helmet. And so, what you're going to do for the helmet is you're going to take your thing, and this is a little bit tricky, guys. You just got to take your piece, yeah, fold it like this. See how I did that? See? This is a little bit tricky. So don't, if you don't get it on the first time, you are welcome to pause this video, since I'm going pretty fast. Okay, about here. So it should look like this. Fold it a couple times over if you need help. But then, if you want to be fancy, just do that. And so now you got your clone head. What you want to do is you want to take it back here. And take the other back here. And you see how? See? That's it. Right there. And so you're gonna tuck it. You don't you don't have to tuck this, but if you want to be perfect, you can tuck it. I don't really like to tuck that one. But I really like to I just want to be perfect. It should look like this. Now, here comes the tricky part. If you already tucked yours, you gotta shake this in, start like a puppet, and then try to squeeze the head in there. If it does fit, then you're good. Mine does fit, but if you don't, but if it doesn't fit, then you should do a little remodeling with the back, try to, you know, fight with it, and pull it out a little bit more to get it a little bit more skinnier. So now, what you're gonna do is, here are some of my types I did. You can make clones, such as these, what I did. And, or you can make, I made this last night, the fat. All right, so, how to do this is you're gonna get just a regular, you're gonna get a marker and you're going to do the clone face. So you're going to do this, this, sorry, that. I'm not as good, not, I'm not as a good drawer as probably you guys are. You're going to make the clone face. Uh, as you can see, I'm constantly, if you can see my head, I'm constantly looking over here. And if you have a pen, other than a big bulgy marker, you can draw stuff like right here stuff right here and you can draw this piece and 
So yeah, that when you look at the armor, it kind of looks like this. Go down like that and like that. Sort of, sort of. Then for the belt, this is kind of this is not really tricky, but there. The belt, it just remember that piece that's sticking out. And then if I do this. Add some more detail. So yeah, I think your clone should be done by now. And what you should do is this. This is going to be your guy's face. So we want to draw a face on there, right? I'm going to take a brown marker. I'm going to give him brown hair. I'm going to give him some eyes. smile and then you can do that so now that I've made my clone if you want you can take some tape you see and you can fight with it down here and so you see you could so when you put your guy um, on your guys hat on um, it doesn't really um, go through. I had a problem with that with these guys over here too. So I just used some tape. But um, I see I can take off all their helmets. Like that. Oh, yeah. So um, if you you see some clones have weapons. And so, if you want to have some clones to have weapons, you could do this. You could take, like right here, this guy has a weapon. So, what you could do is you could take a thin slate and then cut about this much off. Come on. And then, what you can do is you could fold, is you could fold it right here. Fold it right here. And so now, what you're going to do is if you have a marker, you could make this sort of black over here. If it's all black. These guns are so tricky to make because when you're coloring them, they're just, they're just hard to fight with. And then fold this down. So yeah, that's your gun. And you can put it in this guy's little pouch. So he has a weapon. Put his helmet on, and he's ready for action. As you can see, Boba Fett is a little bit more hard to make, but I'll show that in another video. So, clones, are you ready to say goodbye? <laughs> this has been a wonderful video, and I hope you all like it. I also made some paperwork. But I hope you all like it and have fun making a clone army. Maybe a fat or two.